The downfall of Manetheret occurred during the Trolloc Wars, an event that saw the armies of the Shadow almost achieve the complete destruction of all of the Ten Nations. Manetheret was one of the Ten Nations and one of the most important ones during the war. The Trolloc Wars lasted for a period of around 350 years, and during this time, Manetheret was always at the forefront. Throughout the war, Manetheret became known as the sword that could not be broken and its armies as a thorn to the Dark One's foot. This is because whenever an ally requested help, the Red Eagle of Manetheren was always present at the forefront. In the middle years of the war, the King of Arathor, King Bolwyn, was told by his advisor, Morty, that the only way to achieve victory over the Shadow was to become more ruthless than the shadow itself. The King of Arathor did so by sacrificing many lives in order to save his kingdom. The King of Manetheren, King Thorin, decided to send his son, Prince Carr, to Arathor in order to speak to King Bolwyn and bring him back to the light. But instead, the Prince of Manetheren was imprisoned and tortured. When the king of Manetheren heard of this betrayal, he sent his army to Arathal to take revenge. But when the army got there, they found the city in ruins and not a single living thing in it. The Manetheren army left the city sensing an evil presence. If you want to hear more, about the city of Avatar, check the video I made on it called Shadow Logoth. With Avatar now in ruins, the war was finally at Manetheren's doorstep. During this period, the future king of Manetheren, King Amon, surrounded himself with a young group of warriors that would later be known as the Band of the Red Hand. It was at this time that a man named Balsamon emerged to command the armies of the Shadow. Under his command, the Shadow focused more in taking down Manetheren. Throughout the later years, King Amon, his armies, and the Band of the Red Hand fought valiantly against Balsamon and the armies of the Shadow. The Battle of the Tavendrel River marked the beginning of the end for Manetheren. King Amon requested help from the remaining ten nations and the White Tower. He was informed that aid would arrive in three days. The battle of the Tavendrel River lasted for ten days and help never arrived. After ten days of intense fighting, the Manetheren army started to break and King Amon decided to retreat. Manetheren made their final stand at the Battle of Amon's Field. King Amon, with the Band of the Red Hand by his side, fought till the bitter end, but was ultimately killed. When the wife of King Amon, Queen Eldrin, who was also an Aes Sedai, felt her husband die, through the bond that she had with him, she committed suicide by summoning so much of the One Power that she managed to take down with her the remaining Shadow Spawn, but also completely destroying the capital of Manetheren. The once great kingdom now laid in ruins and was no more, but the blood of Manetheren continues in a small village now known as Emmons Field.